A modern building with two glass towers, that's the Time Warner Center. So the lower floors right here have a high-end shopping center. There's uh, some CNN studios on the far left of the building. Jazz at Lincoln Center has its own home right here within the Time Warner Center. Time Warner, big company, cable, internet, right? So this is their world headquarters. This is mostly their offices upstairs. There's also a fancy hotel, restaurants. So just so you get a sense of how expensive it is to build a skyscraper in New York City in the 21st century. This was built in the last 10 years. The price tag was $1.7 billion, okay? So lots and lots of money. It's a little crazy, actually. So um, to, to your right is one of Donald Trump's many buildings. We'll talk about a lot of money, right? Anybody? Everybody knows who Donald Trump is. He's such a modest man, right? He always puts his name on everything he makes. So this is the Trump International Hotel and Tower. The Trump Tower, which is the more famous one of his buildings, which was used in the TV show, is on Fifth Avenue. We should have, I, I say should, because uh, in New York it's always tentative whether you're gonna be able to go down a certain path, especially when President of the United States is in town. Un unexpected streets get closed and you need to see different things. Um, if you look to your left right now, you're going to see Lincoln Center, which is the um, Center for Performing Arts. So there's a big plaza with a fountain. We're just going to creep along here between the trees so you get to see the building facing us with the big arches. That's the Metropolitan Opera House. The building to the left is where New York City Ballet performs, and to the right, the New York Philharmonic. So basically, you've got classical music, classical dance, and opera right here. If you notice, on the steps that lead to the plaza facing us, you have every few seconds it lights up. It's lit up right now. It's hard to see, but those are actually letters and words. It says, welcome. Uh, in virtually every language of the world. And then it also tells you what's going to be performed tonight, tomorrow, and the next couple of days. It's really kind of cool. The Juilliard School of Music is actually the next building over on the left. Uh, that's part of what's called Alice Tully Hall. And it's uh, one of the greatest conservatories. So it's very competitive. So very talented musicians go there and it's sort of, you know, right across the street from the ultimate goal here, you know, performing at the Met. So uh, behind these buildings to your left is a very famous high school. It's the High School for Performing Arts. And a long time ago, um, there was a TV, first a movie, and then it was made into a TV show called Fame. Maybe the grown-ups remember that. Um, and it was about kids who were really gifted, and it's a, it's a high school that's really geared to help them, um, you know, in dance and, and music, basically. And it's a real place, and it's right behind Lincoln Center, so to your left. Um, there's another very famous uh, movie. It's it's old, but it's won 10 Academy Awards. It's, it's a great movie. It's called West Side Story. Anybody seen West Side Story? great music and it's it's a tragic love story uh, it takes place in New York City in the 1950s and it's about gang gang warfare between and racial tensions between the Puerto Ricans who were here and the kids who were already here uh, it's basically like Romeo and Juliet it doesn't end well <laughs> and the reason I bring it up is that in the beginning of the movie the whole opening sequence was filmed in this neighborhood before they built Lincoln Center it was a very poor neighborhood back then a lot of empty lots and um, you know small tenement buildings with rusty fire escapes it looked completely different from what you're seeing today the neighborhood we're going through right now is called the Upper West Side so we're uptown right and we're west of Fifth Avenue which is basically uh, the dividing line that splits Manhattan and Manhattan. So we're at the Upper West Side, we're actually on Broadway. This is Broadway right here. Uh, looks different from a lot of people's ideas of what Broadway looks like. Because people usually think Times Square, but we'll talk about that later. And I just want to point out um, that if you look up, all these buildings, right, on the ground floor you've got stores, you know, coffee 
coffee shop here on the corner, diner. But these buildings are apartment buildings. This is a neighborhood where people actually live in New York. And I say that because I noticed from your itinerary, you're going to spend a lot of time in Times Square later on. And Times Square, you have to see Times Square to come to New York. But it's not where people live. And a lot of times people say, you know, how can you live here? And all they see is Times Square. And I was like, nobody lives in Times Square. <laughs> it's entertainment, right? It's, it's awesome to see but it's not where people live. So here you're actually seeing a place where people live. If you look here to your right, you see an old stone building with balconies. There's another beautiful one up ahead on the left. These are over, these are over 100 years old. Uh, this small building immediately to our left, right in the middle of Broadway, is one of the original entrances to the subway. Line number one in the New York City subway system officially opened in 1904, so 110 years ago. It's been around for a long time. The subway in New York's a great way to get around. It's very fast. You never get stuck in traffic. Very and fast. public transportation in general in New York City is fantastic. It runs 24 hours a day. So anytime you can ride the subway, take a public bus. Uh, people who live in Manhattan, the great majority do not own a car. 